Well, good morning, everyone, and welcome to our midweek Bible study. We appreciate you so very, very much. God bless each of you today. Uh, we're praying for you always, and continue to pray for us and all of our church family, those who are going through times of trouble and sickness, those who are bereaved. We send up prayers to God for you every day and send them up for us as well. But God bless you today. Going to do something totally different today. I hope you'll enjoy it. Um, you know, we've, we've heard Luke chapter 2, and probably maybe next week we'll share some of that with you. But uh, today we're going to do something different. There's a beautiful song uh, that we've heard for a lot of years now, uh, and it's called Mary Did You Know. And Mary Did You Know is just a wonderful, beautiful song uh, that many sing this time of year. So what I want to do, I'm going to read some of the phrases in that. We're going to do about half the song today and then the other half maybe next week. Uh, this will be kind of short today, but uh, the part for next week really uh, will get us in uh, tune for the celebration of Christ's birth. But today I want to talk to you just a little bit about Mary, did you know? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Oh, what a question that is, because to walk on water, he had to have supernatural powers, and certainly that indicated that he was who he claimed to be, and that was the Son of the living God. In Matthew chapter 14, verses 24 through 27, we see the text that says, But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straightway, Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. Man, that is a wonderful passage of Scripture, isn't it? You know, we talked about fear not uh, this past Sunday in church, the fear nots of the Bible, and did we need a fear not? Well, certainly, at times in our lives, we, we do need those. And here is another one, be not afraid. Jesus tells his disciples as he comes to them, walking on the water, Mary, did you know that your baby boy would one day walk on water? Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our sons and daughters? In Acts chapter 4, verse 12, we see this, that neither is there salvation in any other, for there is none other name under heaven given among men whereby we must be saved. God told Joseph and Mary, of course, to name him Jesus, and that name in which we're saved is Jesus Christ. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will save our sons and daughters? Did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new? This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. In Acts chapter 2, verse 21, we see this wonderful truth today. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord, that name is Jesus once again, shall be saved. He is our deliverer from the penalty of sin. He is our deliverer from the bondage of sin. Mary, did you know that your baby boy has come to make you new. This child that you delivered will soon deliver you. Jesus is our deliverer today. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will give sight to the blind man? In Mark chapter 10, verses 50 through 52, we see this, and he casting away his garment rose and came to Jesus. And Jesus answered and said unto him, what wilt thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man said unto him, Lord, that I might receive my sight. And Jesus said unto him, Go thy way. Thy faith hath made thee hold. And immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus in the way. Mary, did you know that your baby boy will give sight to the blind man? Did you know that your baby boy would calm the storm 
with his hand. And there arose a great storm of wind, and the waves beat into the ship, so that it was now full. Mark 4, 37 through 39 says this. And he was in the hinder part of the ship, asleep on a pillow. And they awake him and say unto him, Master, carest thou not that we perish? And he arose and rebuked the wind and said unto the sea, Peace, be still. And the wind ceased, and there was a great calm. Even when this great storm arose, this great storm of wind and the waves filled up the ship, as verse 37 says there, Jesus, he wasn't afraid, was he? He knew what he was going to do. He was just teaching the disciples to trust him, wasn't he? Mary, did you know that your baby boy would calm the storm with his hand? Mary, did you know that your baby boy has walked where angels trod? In 2 Corinthians 8 9, the Bible tells us, For we know the grace of our Lord Jesus, that through his that though he was rich, yet for our sakes he became poor, that we through his poverty might be rich. Talked about this a couple Sundays ago. Jesus left the place where he walked among the heaven's angels and was willing to become poor and needy so that we might become spiritually rich. Oh, what a promise that is of God today. For all those uh, who will trust in the Lord Jesus, we trust in the one who has walked where angels trod and is now walking where they trod. And praise his name, he's back with the Father in heaven, interceding for people like me and you today. On our behalf, what a Savior we have today. And Mary, did you know when you kiss your little baby, you've kissed the face of God? John 1.1 1, 1 says it best. In the beginning was the Word. Of course, the Word was Jesus. And the Word was with God. And the Word was God. Oh, that song says so much in, in its words, doesn't it? And like I say, we'll finish it up, Lord willing, next time. But I want you to think on those parts of it. I want you to study maybe those scriptures, and you can replay the video there and get the scripture notes. But I want you to study those and see uh, when Mark Lowry wrote that song, uh, what he was getting at and what a wonderful piece of, of work it is proclaiming just who Jesus is at this time of year. Uh, we, uh, we need to hear about that, don't we? God himself put on a body just like ours, born as a little baby, came into this world, came from the riches and splendors of heaven to a smelly low manger to be born the Savior of the world. Oh, what a wonderful promise that is today. And it's truth, my friends. It's truth. Mary, did you know who you were really, really carrying, who you were really, really pampering and diapering and all of those things uh, that a mom would do for a little baby? Did she really know just who she held in her arms? She and Joseph. Something to think about today, isn't it? Well, God bless each of you until we speak again.